Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Jackie Kurniawan. Today I will present an article with title Keep Calm. First of all, I, I want to tell you about Elizabeth Goldberg. Elizabeth Goldberg, a therapist in New York, which is experiences the biggest outbreak of COVID-19 in the world. And she is under direction to stay at home with her husband because of living that way makes her feeling incredibly stressed and anxious and depressed. So she shared how she's protecting her own mental health through the coronavirus pandemic. The first is make a schedule. She has a daily routine in her life is very comfortable before, but this quarantine has completely changed it. So she has been working on recreating a schedule to bring back that formula so she can adapt with his condition now. The next is talk to a therapist. Having a person to talk to is one of the best things you can do for your mental health. And don't be afraid to ask for help, whether that's talking to a friend, therapist, or calling a crisis line if you are in danger. And the third is pack my mat. She recommends to use a medicine as prescribed. It's also important to take a medicine consistently and to be proactive in making sure to have at least a week's worth of medication in case of shortages. The fourth is exercise every single day. Elizabeth says that exercising has naturally helped her to stay sane and regulate his eating pattern. The fifth is have a lot of sex. Sex is great for you mentally and physically, and she says it's an amazing stress reliever. The sixth, play with my pets. Taking care of pets can provide a lot of entertainment and comfort. Simply petting, petting a, a cat or dog immediately helps you feel a lot calmer. The seventh, call my loved ones. Keeping in touch with friends and family are important to keep your mental healthy because with hearing their voice or advice can make you feel comforted. The eighth, work, write it out. Writing can be a therapy, to you, but you don't even have to make it an official journal. Simply write down your thoughts on paper and can help you feel happier and calmer. The ninth, more funny memes, less news. There is a lot of scary stuff out there about COVID-19, and if you allow yourself to get caught up in all of it, you will lose your mind. You should watch less news and instead look at funny memes online. It can make you laugh and remind you that even thought we are isolated, we're still all in this together. The next is get on social media. With playing social media can help you feel connected with the outside world and stay up to date on how your friends and family are doing. The next is do whatever you need to do. The important things is to find what the things you can do to lift your spirits and stay sane. For some people, that could be playing video games, while for others, it could be mean baking cakes, reading books, or planning the holidays. The last is reach out to others. Everyone, but especially people with mental illnesses, are vulnerable during this time of social distancing. Because of feelings of isolation, neglect, and 
ostracization, which can lead to disastrous and even tragic outcomes. Sometimes beware of people who are lonely and checking with them often. So, give my opinion about the article. Previous slide, please. My opinion about the article is the article shows us how to less stress and keep calm during pandemic. Because feeling stressed and anxious, but the corona pandemic can be very disturbed mental health. So I think this article is very useful for readers who is experiencing stress during pandemic. Next slide. And the relationship of the article to current condition. Here in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic is unavoidable, especially for Americans who experience the highest COVID-19 cases in the world. And you can try ways to deal with the stress during the coronavirus pandemic. In the way that has been recommended, because now many people experience stress not because of being invited by the coronavirus, but they stress because loss of a job, friends, or family. So we move to Q&A section. To Nopan Armadan, please. Okay. What is the impact of corona pandemic stress on mental and physical health? Thank you. Okay, I will to answer your question. Excessive stress can trigger rapid breathing or shortness of breath and heart palpitation when a person experiences stress and stress during pandemic can cause restless insomnia, dizziness, lack of appetite, or frequent nightmares. The next question, please. Selfie, please. Okay, selfie, please. My question is, what are the signs of stress during the corona pandemic? That's it. Thank you. Okay. The symptoms the symptoms that arise when a person person experiences stress can vary such as limp, headache, not wanting to eat, smoking, and consuming excessive alcohol. The last question, please. Okay, I will ask you about what do you think whether depression can be cured? Thank you. Okay, thank you. I think, yes, depression can be cured with immediately do treatment before your condition gets worse. I think that's all for my presentation today. Thank you for your participation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.